Yeah, that's a good pyramid, no way. <laughs> Why are you so paranoid? Oh. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? This is Dare here. I'm testing out my new mic. I'm working on this 4v4 MLG playlist, Guardian Slayer. And looks out for the beginning of the game. I killed a camo guy. So, rush the camo was a fail on their part. It's 1 to 0 starting out. And this isn't really meant to be serious at all. It's just a bit of my skill to hopefully entertain you I don't know my skills randomized with the amount that I play I'm pretty bad according to the star speed but I don't listen to them that much so now the camel's front and they have the sniper we're just sort of hanging back and guardian usually does that to you it's a pretty slow map I'm not gonna lie And it's kind of lonely at the moment, but hopefully in some later episodes, I'll be able to get guest commentators like that French Canadian of Salon. Maybe a couple of singers, pros or pros, depending on whether or not they have mics or not. I mean, I can still do the in-game voice, but I know everybody was complaining that they can hear it. So uh, that might not happen again. And sorry if this mic is a little bit messed up, it's built into the laptop, and it's not the greatest, but it'll do for now. And looks like I got a switch spawn for my team that was set up at gold. I don't know how to leave, and somebody drops out on my team, so I'm not really sure their motivation for that move. But that doesn't help my team out at all. I uh, get raped here, not gonna lie, those tornadoes nice. But somebody cleans them up, so it's not too bad. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, I think I'm on aim. Most of the time when I'm playing Halo, I'm multitasking. Just because Halo gets a little bit stale sometimes. By yourself. Get that kid chasing me. Luckily, I was host this game, so a lot more of my shots register than normally. Which is a good thing for me, bad thing for the other team. Yay, host. But this was back when my host was pretty gobby, I'm not gonna lie. Six bar green bar for everybody, unless you were purposefully making yourself lag. A lot of people enjoyed it, even some semi pros every now and then. I've got match up with them in the playlist. And new sniper spawn. I grabbed it, I ran away. I don't know if that was a smart move, because I have no idea what to do in the 3v4 situation. Oh wow, situation. Can't even swallow. Thought I got the headshot there, but it was a shoulder. And another kid on my team quit, I guess because his buddy quit with ABN or whatever. And I got naded on spawn after I was checking my aim, so I didn't really know where to go. His tree spawn isn't the greatest in this game, especially when you have a 4v2 where people can just run around top mid as much as they want. So Viscosti and I choose to hide. Getting shot from blue entrance. Oh, there's a guy popping down. I'm in love with the little bit of the AGR, but I can get over it. Almost got that guy, and I'm getting shot from S2 top mid. The guy at camo comes back out, shoots me with the sniper. He missed a couple of shots there. So I thought he was a bad sniper, but I guess not. This kid, I should have just shot him. I didn't know that. He just came in and made him. And he had a mauler. Came me up. The BR though, not sure why I didn't just cloud his mall. I was looking to hide right here, but that attempt got shut down by them looking at me from S3. I'm just rushing this guy. I got a nade on him as well. I somehow stay alive, dodging nades like the Matrix. And get triple team. That's one of the things about when you're down a guy, you just feel a lot of pressure from the other team. It's a heck of a lot easier to rush. Focus Kassi and I are just looking double teaming kids. No shields, so we're gonna hide out for a bit. Start moving together. I thought that nade was from bottom gold, so I was looking down there. And this Kassi ninjas the hell out of that kid. I didn't expect him to do that. I didn't know he could do that. I didn't know Mexicans could even jump that high. But they somehow did. But I found a sniper as well. With a body shot grenade on him. 
And there's a kid coming around the corner. And didn't move my reticule, so I got that no scope. And I'm looking for this other kid. Missed him once. I thought, I, I swear, I got him in the head. But even host detection is faulty, guys. You just have to get over that a little bit. Body shot that guy. Thought I could ninja him from below him, but he gets the assassination from above. It's hard to melee like that. Even on bumper jumper, nice CDR from the shot. He actually had a lot of assists this game. I'll post the stats of this. I'm pretty sure many of you have seen the stats, or if you even follow me at all, I've seen the clip that happens at the end. But this is the full gameplay to show you. I'm not just BSing you. These guys were of decent intelligence. They're not that good considering they lost two before. But not to spoil anything, that's why I have this posted. But they at least knew what the map was. Four shot on that kid. I usually like to yell out, count him, but I've stopped doing that once I got my try hard underwear. Pretty comfortable actually. <clears throat> two of them at S3. I see gun days. I'm missing a lot of shots. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm missing a lot of shots. Not much to say about that. But we have the lead. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. We're trading one for one at least for every single kill. That kid doesn't know what he's doing. He's just running down the map. Now I assumed he called me out, so they knew I was gonna come from elbow. This kid thought he could get a sniper on me or somehow. I thought I could get a sniper on him, but it's just not gonna work out, not this time. But I'm cool with that. And I, I missed that shot. 